kill them all. This is gonna be fun. Tyler Perry's Ruthless. Oh yeah, what's going on fam? It's your man VKJ and yes, I'm back with another video. This is for Tyler Perry's Ruthless season three episode 17 recapping yes we see that marva is getting a little something something and ruth shares some disturbing news with the new guests oh yeah we're gonna get into that family and break it down before we do make sure you check out all my episode recaps so you don't miss anything and you get caught up on everything so let's get into episode 17 of tyler perry's ruthless so the name of this episode is Just Keep Breathing, and it reads, Ruth and Marva face off in front of the highest after Malcolm's failed escape. Laura and Aaron are granted entry to the compound, and Lacey makes a rash decision. Oh, yeah, we're going to break this down. So where did we leave off? That's right. Ruth and Elder Mother Marva face off, and they go outside, and Marva's like, who do you think you are? How dare you slap me like that? She's like, I am Ruth. I already told you. I am Ruth. Now get your butt back inside and go make the food. She's like, I curse you. I curse you from the Raku. And Ruth was like, back at you. Back at you. She's like, go inside. So she goes back inside. People are looking and she's like, what? what's going on? Get back to work. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Of course, River's right there. He's like, you went ahead and you did slap her, didn't you? And she's like, listen, I told you, man. I told you what I was going to do. You know I'm ruthless, man. Stop playing with me, right? So she's like, listen, I need a strap. I need a strap. She's like, listen, I can't get one. You know, it's already, you know, it's guarded by the guards, you know, so I can't get one for you. So she's like, listen, I'm just going to take his. I'm going to take the FBI guys and then I'm going to take them out. He's like, really? You going to do that? She's like, listen, man, you don't know me by now. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me, River. He's like, yeah, I know you. I know you. So he's like, all right, go ahead. Put that Ruth and Ruthless, right? <laughs> so she gets the clothes for Malcolm, right? Just like she said. And what she does is she's like, OK, I got the clothes. He's like, OK, OK, great, great. So I can I can get out of here. right? I can get out. She's like, yeah, yeah. All you got to do is put on the clothes and. Then you can just walk right out, right? You could just walk right out. So, of course, you know, Ruth is setting him up, right? So he's like, okay, he's a little bit relieved. That's how he looks, but he's still kind of going through it because he was in the freezer. So he can't really move the way he really wants to move, right? So he's like, yo, what, what can I do? Because I can't really put the clothes on. And she's like, listen, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help. And he's like, really going to help me? Really? You're going to help me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he doesn't have a reason not to trust her, but yeah, we already know we should not trust Ruth and he shouldn't trust Ruth at this point. So he's really like, all right, all right, I'll take your help, you know, but again, he's still going through it. So she starts to help him put on the army fatigue outfit, right? Meanwhile, the highest returns from the bank. He gets out in front of the gate to go and talk to the guests. They're like, oh, highest, highest, right? He's like, yes, yes, how are you? How are you? She's like, oh, I'm sorry. Laura's like, I'm sorry, uh, I couldn't speak to you. He's like, no, don't worry, it's my child. So she's like, can I touch you? He's like, yes, you can touch me, you can touch me. And she's like, oh, my God. She's touching him, right? And your boy asks the same thing. Aaron asks, hey, can I touch you? So he touches the highest, you know, gives him a handshake, whatever, not thinking anything. The highest goes, you're beautiful, right? Of course, to Aaron, right? And Laura's like, no, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. So he's like, hey, listen, you know, uh, how about you gather up your stuff and come inside so we can talk? So now they got that invitation and they are super excited, right? Mm, we know better. So the highest calls to Joan and says, hey, Joan, help them gather their stuff up and come on inside. So the highest gets back into the car and goes inside. Joan greets them, right? And is about to help them, but her job was to not allow them to come in to tell them to go away. So the highest comes back. River, of course, is right there. Highest, highest. Oh, we missed you, we missed you. Of course, Daikon is like, listen, River, we're busy. And the highest is like, come on, Daikon, just chill, right? <laughs> So he's like, oh, we miss you. You know, we don't like when you go away. 
and then he hugs your boy, the highest, and Daikon's just sitting there like, mm, man, I don't like this guy, right? So he's like, yeah, no, it's true. You know, how about we we watch a movie, you know? And he's like, I don't know, you know, the guys, the men didn't like it last time. He's like, well, I was talking about me and you. And Daikon was like, listen, we're busy. And he's like, listen, Daikon, I'm talking to River. And he's like, do you think that he's going to take the bag from me? Because he got a bag of money. He's like, no. He's like, all right, man, just chill. So meanwhile, your girl Ruth is still helping out Malcolm. And he has one more arm to put through his shirt. But he has the strap. He's like, listen, I need your help. You know, I can't put my, you know, I can't hold it. I can't hold the strap and put my arm through the shirt. So she's like, all right, well. So he puts the strap down on the ground. And she is going to now help him put his left arm in the shirt with the strap on the ground. So when he goes back to get it, she quickly grabs the strap and pulls it on Malcolm. <laughs> Dang, Malcolm, you such a sucker, man. You a sucker for women, man. That's your weakness, bro. And she got the strap on him. He's like, see, I just want to get away. She's like, nah, nah, nah. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Start walking, right? Start walking, mother, mother. <laughs> like, Ruth is gangster for real, for real. I mean, she got him walking and his pants are falling down. Like, she is not playing. So... They are still at the highest trailer. River's chopping it up like, yeah, let's watch a movie. And then here comes Ruth with Malcolm, right, rolling up. And, of course, Daikon is like, what are you doing? Put the strap down. Give me the strap. You know, how dare you pull a strap out on my guards? He's like, listen, that's not your guard, do face, right? <laughs> that's not the guard. Look at his face. I'm not giving you the strap. Look at him. Does that look like one of your guards? You know who this is. Right? This is the dude from the freezer. He's like, I should kill you. I should kill you. Right? To Ruth. And once he finally realizes that's Malcolm, Malcolm falls down on the ground. She hits him over the head. I mean, your girl is not playing with the strap. But she refuses to give the strap up to Daikon. Right? So he's like, listen, just give me the strap. That's it. I'm going to take him in. All right? I'm going to take him in. So, of course, the highest is looking on like, wow, like she really got him at strap point. Right. So he's like, you know, how did you get the strap? He's like, well, I took it from him. And she's like, really, really? Yeah, I took it from him. You know, when he wasn't looking, he stole the clothes. And when he wasn't looking, I took it from him. And then here comes Elder Mother Marva. And here we go with the back and forth like daddy. You know, she was supposed to get the keys when he had the gun on me, but she told him that I'm your wife and that I'm valuable and that he should hold on to me. And she never came back with the keys. And Marva's like, she's lying, her highest, she's lying. He's like, she came into the kitchen and slapped me. He's like, did you do that? And Ruth was like, hell yeah, I did that. Because <laughs> she was supposed to come back. She never came back. And she didn't tell the guards what was going on that I was at strap point with this FBI agent, right? So he's like, really, really? So he's going back and forth with Marva and, you know, Ruth. And they're like, daddy, you know, yeah, she did this. And, you know, Marva's like, she's lying. She's lying. I would never, you know, see. So Ruth was like, hey, ask him. Ask the FBI agent. Did she see? Did he see her? Did he see Marva? Right? I don't know why they didn't ask him right there. He's standing right there, right? But again, we have to elongate this episode. We have to get to another episode, right? He's like, listen, if you're lying to me, Marva, this, now's the time to tell me because, you know, if you don't tell me the truth, it's about to go down. So the highest is like, listen, we have guests. We got to be on our best behavior. Do not mention this to anyone. Don't mention it to the guests. And he's like, Marva, I'm telling you right now, if you're lying to me, girl, you're going to get it. She's like, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. But... Uh, the highest we need to go to the store. She still want to go to the store, get that pregnancy test. He's like, right now, it's like, yeah, all right, make it happen. So he goes over to Ruth and he's like, listen, like, did you really do that? Like, how did you do that? Like, yeah, I really took it from him. I really got it from him, you know? And, and yeah, he's like, wow, he's so impressed by Ruth. Again, another, another exhibition of Ruth being ruthless. And he's like, you definitely are sent by the Raku, right? So he goes inside with the bag and she's like, listen, I'm going to get you, girl. I'm going to get you. And Rufus like, man, I already got you. 
I already got you. I ain't worrying about you, Elder Mother Marvel Supreme. You ain't Supreme nothing. <laughs> so Lewis takes Malcolm into the punishment trailer with the rest of the FBI dudes. They're like, man, how did you get caught? Man, I wish they would have just killed. Like, Brian's like, uh, you know, ah, man. Like, they're all disappointed in Malcolm. You know, Andrew's like, I wish they would have just took you out. He's like, yeah, whatever, whatever. But at least I ain't, you know, get done in the booty. Like, you know, by the highest, da, 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 da. So he's making fun of him, making fun of Andrew. He's like, all right. Andrew's like, listen, well, I heard they got a plan for you. Watch. They got a plan for you. Mm -hmm. The highest is going to get at you, too. Watch, watch. He's like, what, what? So Ruth is folding the clothes, folding it up, folding up the robes. Of course, Rivers rolls up, like, clapping, like, man, you are amazing. You are brilliant. And she's like, yeah, I know, I know. And he's like, listen, um... You know, they got the money. You know, they just came back from the bank. You know, all right, cool. And she's like, listen, where's Joan at? Where's Joan at? Oh, she, I think she's, uh, I don't know. He's like, well, go find out. And then they're like, wait a minute. Is Joan outside with the guests? So, yes, Joan is outside with the guests, helping them pack stuff up. Joan is like, all right, that was easy. They're like, all right, let's go. But Joan doesn't want to go. Joan is looking around like, Man, I really don't want my friends to go up in there like that. And they're like, what's wrong? What's going on? She's like, you sure you want to join? And, you know, like, Laura's like, listen, I gave up everything for this. Like, we're going inside. You know, we want to go inside paradise. You know, so, you know, Aaron's like, come on, let's go. But Joan again, she's looking around. She's looking like, I should tell him. I should tell him. Tell him, Joan. Why are you not telling him? What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? But she's right there. She's like. They're like, listen, we going inside. You know, they're so convincing, like they're so convinced that this is paradise. Like it's like walking into the gates of heaven. Joan knows better. And she's like, all right, yes, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Joan definitely wanted to tell them, but she did not tell them. Now, here we go. They're walking inside and River and Ruth sees what's going on. She's like, see, I knew she was with them. Right. So they walk up and Ruth is like, listen, I'm going to take the girl. You talk to the guy. River is looking at, you know, Aaron like, oh, he's beautiful, da da da, da right? <laughs> so they roll up, and they're like, oh, hello, how you doing? And then they introduce themselves, and River's like, yes, this is, you know, the highest wife to be. And they're like, oh, should we bow? Should we bow? River's like, yeah, you should bow. <laughs> and River's like, nah, 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 nah. He's just joking. He's like, yeah, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's like, how about, uh, you know, take you around the campus talking to Aaron, the guy, I'm about to take you around, take you on a tour. And Ruth can, you know, take Laura on a tour and show her around as well. So like, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we want to see it, you know. So, of course, Joan wants to go with Ruth and Laura. But Ruth was like, nah, nah, you know, you know her. Let me get to know her. And uh, she tells Laura to tell Joan, hey, it's okay. And then Ruth takes Laura on tour, of course. Joan is still disappointed that she did not keep them away. Meanwhile, in the highest trailer, Daikon is counting up the dope, counting up the money with the money machine. The highest comes out again, bragging and boasting like, man, I can't believe she really got the strap from that FBI agent. Of course, Daikon is hating like, well, he did come out of the freezer. He's like, see, you playing it down, huh? You really playing it down. Huh? You really jealous. I like when you jealous. Da, 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 da. So he's like, let me see, you know, your cut. I'm sorry that I cut you. He's like, oh, it's all right. And he's like, who did this? The elder mother. So he's like, do you believe, you know, Ruth? And he's like, yeah, I believe Ruth. I believe in Ruth, you know, but we're going to find out. But not right now. I'm in a good mood. I love it when you're jealous. It's just so beautiful. It's like, ah, so he gives him a kiss and it's like, ah, <laughs> right? Count the money. Count the money, though. Count the money, Daikon. So here we go. <laughs> your boy. Scumbag Banny rolls up to Elder Mother Marvel. And he rolls over and she's like, what do you want, boy? Did you come to go to the store or whatever, get the list? He's like, nah, 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 Lewis can do it. She's like, all right, well, go get him. He's like, listen, nah, I came because, you know, I got a problem, you know. I kind of like messed around with my pinochle, like up my pinochle. And she's like, what? Well, uh, you know, what happened? Uh, you know, I, I fell on the knives. He's like, well, show it to me. He's like, well, can we go inside? He's like, no, show it to me now. Show it to me now. 
So he pulls out the pinnacle and she's like, oh my God, it looked like it went to a shredder and everything like that. Like, what is wrong with you, man? Said, oh, man. He's like, yeah, I, I fell on two knives. <laughs> so he's pretty much giving him the excuse that River told him to give her. So she's like, well, uh, you know, we're going to have to go to the infirmary. Come on, help me down the steps. And he tries to put out the hand that he had on his pinochle. And she's like, don't give me that hand, right? So she bends down and she looks at it. And then she pops his pinochle and is like, ah. <laughs> I don't know why she did that. Why did you do that, Elder Mother Marva? You know that man's in pain. So he's like, Elder Mother Marva. She's like, come on, let's go. <laughs> so she just hit him up. Yeah, man, she is wild, right? So she's going to take him to the infirmary and hopefully fix him up. So Ruth brings Laura to the ladies' trailer. She's like, oh, this is the ladies' trailer. And Laura's like, oh, this is wonderful. And Ruth was like, what's so wonderful about it? She's like, it's just simple for me. You know, we gave up everything just to be here, just to hear the children play. You know, any children around, you know, can we see the children and Ruth was like, no. She's like, why? She's like, because they're studying right now. You know, like why all of a sudden Laura wants to see the children? Again, I have this feeling. We all have this feeling that Laura and Aaron are FBI or CIA, right? Who knows? But she's asking, you know, Laura questions like, yeah, how long have you known Joan? And when was the last time you spoke to her? And, you know, is it really, you know, like, what are you here for? And she's like, yeah, you know, I lost my baby. Do you have children? So Ruth is saying that she has her daughter and everything and all of that. So Laura's like, hey, listen, you know, what, what's going to happen? Like, you know, what, what's going to happen? And <laughs> Ruth comes out and says, yeah, the highest he's going to take your husband and pretty much, you know, plug him in and pretty much, you know, uh, come in your husband. <laughs> and of course, Laura's like, what? Are you serious? <laughs> Like, this is the most disturbing news. He's like, you got to be joking, right? You joking, right? And Ruth was like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm joking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm joking. Mm. Am I? Like, am I joking? <laughs> so Ruth is wilding right now because he's trying to tell her the truth. But again, Laura's just kind of like, uh, if it is true, I don't think my husband will like that. She's like, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> she's trying to warn her, trying to give her signs, but she's not getting it. Meanwhile, Lacey is now back on the scene. She is in and the elder mother's like, hurry up and and shred those potatoes. You know, stop talking. Stop talking. You're going to be all right. And Lacey's like, really, am I like R Lacey's giving up back talk, right? She's like, you better stop back talking me. You know, you're going to learn your lesson. Looks like you don't know your lesson, right? I don't know who this new elder mother is, but here we go. Zane turns around, pops Lacey in the face and says, stop talking junk and peel those potatoes. Of course, the elder mother's like, oh, Zane, I see why the elder mother, Marva Supreme, really likes you. You could be the youngest elder mother. That's kind of a contradiction, right? The youngest elder, <laughs> youngest elder mother, right? She's like, well, here's the list. We're going to go through the list, and you're going to make sure you go to the store. They're going to send over a guy, blah, 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 right? So she's really impressed by Zane, but of course Zane is playing a role. Zane really is trying to get up out of there, but she's trying to get all of them to trust her so she can maneuver through everything. She's looking at Lacey's like, damn, I ain't really want to do that. But you know, Lacey knows that she has to do what she has to do. But Lacey's coming up with her own little plan. Meanwhile, back in the infirmary, we got your boy scumbag Manny. And she's like, all right, boy, take off all your clothes. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Elder mother. So she takes off, he takes off his clothes and he's screaming because he's in pain. And she's like, he's like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? She's like, no, no, nothing. No, 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 nothing. She's like, oh, his body, his body. She's just infatuated by Manny's body. Meanwhile, dude is yelling and screaming. And she's like, are you sure you're in pain? And she goes down to touch it and his pinochle. And she's like, oh, my God. Like, you're telling me. You're telling me a lie. What really happened? You didn't fall on your knife. He's like, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. You know? He's like, no, nah, I'm just embarrassed. I'm just embarrassed by this. And she's like, well, if I fix it up, what are you going to do for me? I'm like, oh, Lord, here comes other Mother Marva again. You know what? You know what? 
I'll fix it up, but once it heals up, you got to take care of me. Put your hand under my dress and make me happy. I'm like, oh, no, no. So Betty is crazy, but he does it. And she's like, oh, ah, ah. And she's all screaming and whatever from pleasure. And here comes Lewis walking in the door. He sees it and he tries to run away. She's like, uh-uh, nah, bruh. Come back here. <laughs> Come back here. She's like, what did you see? He's like, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I just came in and, you know, uh, I just came to tell her. She's like, why are you here? It's like, I, I, they sent me over to go to the store for you. He's like, all right, you go to the kitchen. They got a list in the kitchen, you know, and that's it. And he can't even look at her. And she's like, why you can't even look me in the eye? He's like, I just was scared of the blood. She's like, what type of soldier are you? You, you scared of blood? Like, get up out of here, you know? So she's like, back to what we were doing. Now come and pleasure me, and I'll take care of you. And he's like, please, please. Manny is getting everything that he deserves for messing around with Zane. That's right. So he goes ahead, and he's making her happy. And she's like, ah, 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 <laughs> like a hawk or something. Now, back in the kitchen, we see one of the guards roll up, right? And they look and see what's going on. Lacey's there. And she's looking on as well. And they roll up with the truck. So the guy comes in. It's like, all right, here's what we need. Here's the list. And you need to take the, the bags, right? So he puts down his strap on the table. Here goes Lacey with the hot oil in the pan. And she throws it on the elder mother. She's like, ah, right? And then she grabs the strap on the table and she pulls it out on the guard and Zane and yes Lacey is trying to get up out of there and she got the strap she has a plan she's gonna get out right maybe she's gonna take the truck what is she gonna do is she gonna take out the guard is she gonna take Zane with her we shall see in the next episode of Tyler Perry's Ruthless Fam. This was another crazy one right here. Listen, if you're finding me for the first time, definitely go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Absolutely. We're going to keep this thing going, fam. I appreciate you all for watching. That's right. We are approaching the new year, so look out for more recaps like this, family. If you enjoyed it, if you liked it, if you loved it, definitely go ahead and watch this next one right here. I appreciate you all for watching, fam. Thank you so much. And until next time, salute.